has. And he's he eventually ends up finding out from his family members, you know, while the sword right is still going on now. Uh that, you know, that they were actually bringing food, extra amounts of food, and it was coming back empty. Find out that this Jewish girl is there. And he doesn't want his family members to know, but he wants to keep her all for himself, you know, because this starts turning into this weird thing where the girl is younger than him. Yeah, in the movie, when the Jewish girl turns up, the Jewish girl is actually younger than him, whose Jojo Rap was actually pretty much a grown, probably in his late teens, most likely adults in the film. And they find out she's, uh, he's, he, the family's hiding a Jewish girl. And he thinks that's real, and he's like, you know, oh, cool, okay, I could always use company and a girl. Yeah, let's have a hostage situation. Let's keep a hostage. Let's not do what we want to hide off from the Nazis. Let's keep a, a hostage. Because pretty much that's what he does throughout this whole book. Because it's a big, huge bag in the film. In the book, I mean, not the film. The children around the film is actually a pretty decent kid. Uh, but, you know, he comes back to his room and he finds out all oh, there's no old stuffed animals and stuff back there. Lose it. Oh. But yeah, his family members do get a visit from the Gestapo and they take extra precaution, including the mother doing the most probably boring thing to bore anyone to death, uh, God forbid the Gestapo. Uh, by telling about, you know, a whole willow tree that keeps uh, dropping all these dead leaves and destroying all the grass underneath it. But yeah, eventually the family members do go up missing and they end up getting killed because they are found out to be a part of the resistance. Which is, yeah, something in the book though too, okay? Uh, so eventually the war ends, you know, the allies win, you know, Jojo Rapper just won't let the goal go, the Jewish goal. And he keeps telling, oh, well, the like sword right won and stuff, you know, even though in reality they didn't win. He's just trying to keep off to himself by telling all these lies. And then the, he's trying to... Then he also, in one scene, uh, ends up having to bury all the dead Holocaust victims. He's just so shocked about it, but yet he keeps being okay with uh, lying to this girl that we didn't lose. It's all just fake news, you know? I'm like, you're killing and burying the victims of your empire. Let this girl go, for Pete's sake, you know? And then you, ah, uh, yeah, so, you know, he's, and then he ends up with a job at some factory and stuff, and they move into this new housing, uh, apartment there, like, kind of government housing, I guess. And he's still trying to keep the girl a secret, even after uh, she, they end up having this cat that the woman's just so happy over and obsessed about, and he's just jealous of this girl so much for not liking him. But duh, if you didn't keep her as a hostage, she would actually probably like you. If you'd actually let her go back to her family, she wouldn't be a place to do with a cat. <laughs> I mean, surprise that none of these guys actually helpful what of one that all this guy's is now new neighbors after he sold the family house sale. Uh no. And yeah, at times he's also in the book after once even when the allies show up he still feels ashamed of his physical disability, which is I I can understand that as an autistic person, uh, even though my disability is invisible. Uh, but his is visible in the book. It's not invisible, it's visible because it's a war injury. He's a veteran. Interested to navigate a new changing world that's different from what he grew up as they thought like. And eventually, he always goes through these arguments with the Jewish girl just because he just doesn't want to let her go and keep her hostage. You know, he doesn't want to do anything for her. And, oh, thinks it was just a terrible war thing. Eventually, uh, he, she decides to leave him, and you know, he just acts like, oh my gosh, she's not even there, and no one realizes that she was there. When he asks everyone, where did she go? She disappeared. 
so that's my whole take on this uh film here so you know it's in different than the book different the book is very different than the movie oh my gosh I mean, you would have to read the book. I'm not gonna give you the whole thing for no for free. You you read it yourself, you know, just like you no know, my movie, uh, summaries. You now watch the whole thing for yourself. You'll see the stuff in there. You know, see the whole thing. I'm gonna give you a summary. Uh, so that's uh the film of Jojo Rabbit Tales, a uh, book of Changing Skies by Christine, uh. Lunins, Lunins, I think, yeah, that's how you probably pronounce it, probably also butchering it. Uh, the book is a bit interesting, I kind of think it's kind of, uh, but yeah, I think the movie is actually better, you know, this is one of those moments where I just think the movie was better than the book. And, you know, kind of very few moments where you probably think, you know, the movie's better than the book than the usual case for the book being better than the movie. Which, I think that's okay. I think it still would have needed you no know, imaginary Hitler anyway, because I kind of like the imaginary Hitler. Why can't you put him on there? He's so fun and enjoyable. I liked him. I like that Hitler. But okay, well, uh, just to give you a bit of an update, uh, you know, I'm apologizing for, you know, not uploading enough uh, this week here. Uh, so I uploaded, I did create some videos, and creating one that is going to upload it soon. Uh, of uh, 10 reasons why I hate uh, the History Channel's TV series. It is a full season. Thank God, not a nine season. TV series of hunting at the world's God forbid I will be quoting Inglorious Bastards Hitler right now. No, 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 no way. But yeah, I've made a video and I'm gonna upload it here probably soon of 10 reasons why I hate uh, History Channel's hunting Hitler TV series for this for fun. Just for something lighthearted. Also, I'm uh, back at school. I'm enjoying uh, my my history two seven and statistics class. And that's kind of the thing that's uh, taking up some of my schedule lately for uploading videos. I would have been happy to make a video on campus, but yeah, I think all those uh, students, you know, YouTube's guidelines would have an issue with that. But hey, it was very nice outside though, anyway. All those, but now I think, yeah, YouTube would have an issue with all the students walking behind me and stuff. Plus, I'll be wearing a mask, so I don't know how good uh, the quality of the audio of the video is going to help anyway. So, ah. so I would like to leave you all off on, uh, no, like and subscribe to this video. Uh, hit the notification bell, become a subscriber to my YouTube channel of Lisa State and my other YouTube channel of Hitler Obsessed. You can leave a comment to this video or to any of my videos that have the comments open and not have the comments disabled right now. Uh, or on to my YouTube channel or you can leave a comment on my Facebook or send me a friend request on my Facebook. Uh, also, please donate to my Patreon and subscribe still because Lord who knows if this is going to get demonetized or you know, get some kind of weird policy violation for, you know, just mentioning Adolf Hitler. So I did have one video actually be taken down for something like that and it was no audio. The actual video actually had audio, and I almost ended up with a copyright strike because I found out the song from Windows uh, Movie Maker or Video Ads or whatever it is on my laptop is a uh, actually a copyrighted song. I should have gone with something like what Dank Pod's YouTube channel does, gone with Scarlet File. So maybe that would seem a bit iffy too to so Dank Pods. <laughs> Yeah, it's a Hitler film. It's a Hitler video, a bunch of pictures of Hitler. So I decided to have no audio. 
a bunch of pictures of Hitler and some of the cats. I also am going to make a reaction video that's going to be funny soon, probably for that. Uh, just for shits and giggles and, you know, and just to make some light and work to it. I mean, I wasn't supporting Hitler at all on that thing. It was just a dumb little video editing project and he screwed me over for that. But that's okay. That's fine. I mean, hey, I've been through worse things in life than that. So, uh, that's uh, some of my plans here lately and some of my YouTube videos I'm planning to do. And uh, let's get me some uh, 100,000 subscribers here. Uh, you know, I definitely want to get one of those plaques here soon. I definitely want uh, you, everyone here as a subscribe when anyone visiting this video on this channel to subscribe and to share this video so I can eventually get 4,000 public watch hours and 1,000 subscribers so I can become a monetized YouTube channel. Uh, and then I could tell my family members I'm actually earning money off this stuff eventually. So, thanks for everything, and bye.